Hey everybody, when you think of LED light bulbs, there are two common things you may associate with them. Being very efficient and having a long service life. Well, they generally are very efficient when you compare them to incandescent light bulbs and they're also more efficient than most if not all CFLs. But there's something about LED lights that um, kind of annoy me. You see on this pack of bulbs from the Home Depot, they list, you know, as saying, last 13 years or 15,000 hours. So yeah, <laughs> is that really true? Well, let's be honest. Um, when it comes to LED lights from reputable manufacturers, let's say Sylvania, for example, you'll probably expect them to last closer you know that you would probably expect them to last closer to that kind of, kind of time frame with less DOAs and less premature failures well I have noticed just like with CFLs there are LED light bulbs from certain um, brands that just don't seem to hold up very well Take, for example, this EcoSmart brand. It's Home Depot's store brand. I installed these light, these um, light bulbs and three ceiling fans just like this. You had this one here, one in the kitchen, and one in the master bedroom. And the one in the kitchen, one in the master bedroom, you know, they're working okay. All three are still going. However, this one here, we've already experienced a failure. Yes, that bulb right there has already failed. It started out by getting to where when you start the when you start the lights, that one there would be dimmer than the other two, and eventually it would flicker to you know, it would flicker bright, and then get dim again, flicker bright, get dim again. Eventually, it'd stay bright, but then over time, it starts to just flicker bright, get dim, flicker bright, get dim over time. And never stay bright and eventually one day it just decided not to come on anymore seems to be a common kind of failure with these kinds of bulbs so the ones in the kitchen are working okay just you know just fine never had problems out of them same goes for the ones here in the bedroom these are the same bulbs now, if we look here at, at the sink, for you Lowe's guys out there, which I am more of a Lowe's guy, Utilitech bulbs are not out of the woods either. And I'm sure somebody's going to say, oh, there's a big stain on your ceiling there. That was there when I moved, when I moved into this place. It was most likely from a previous water leak that had been repaired. Turn the light off. You know, check that out. That's what the that's what the failed one does. I know you can't see it now, but so essentially the left bulb started to notice it would flicker out, and you just it would look like a it essentially it would look just like a um, fluorescent tube burning out. You know how they flicker and stuff like that. Well, as you may be able to see, zoom in on it. may not be able to really tell but it tends it tends to still do it just a little bit um, and here's a reason why I don't like incandescent bulbs look what happened to this wallpaper after 30 something years and this place used to have incandescent bulbs all throughout because listen I mean, I'll, I'll be honest the, the guy who was in here was a, was a real tight wad um, yeah so of course, first thing I did was I ripped every incandescent bulb in this mobile home out and replaced it with an LED bulb. Every single incandescent <laughs> had gone. Um, it, it first started out with just you know these the standard style light bulbs because I couldn't find any for the ceiling fans. Well, that's because the previous owner again mentioned he's a tightwad. Chose like the cheapest ceiling fans they could find. I mean, look how tiny this thing is compared 
to the room. It's this it's it's really tiny. Um and also the bulbs it uses are the um where they thread into a light socket is much smaller than your standard bulbs. So I happened to have to go to Home Depot for something one day and happened to see these there and I got them. That was back in I want to say late 2016 or early 2017, sometime around there. It wasn't too long after I moved in this place that I finally had found them. So, anyways, yeah, with these Utilitech bulbs, <laughs> that one there has already failed. I already had to replace that one. Um, oh, yeah, let's not forget. Yes, my lamp over there at the, at the wall. It already had one or two Utilitech bulbs fail. And I, and I think it's sad considering how much they, how expensive those things are at Lowe's uh, to have that many failures. They're junk. It's simple as that. They're junk. Now you might be wondering about Walmart's Great Value brand. Are they any better? Let's go have a look. And of course, every Utilitech bulb I replaced was replaced with a Great Value bulb. Although I did have some Great Value bulbs when I first um, started ripping out incandescent bulbs and changing them out with LED bulbs. These are Great Value bulbs. Now have a listen to this one here. Do you hear that? Yep, one of, the, one of these bulbs is actually humming. It's that one there. Although I think I hear this one doing it too, just a little bit. Yep. They both hum just a little bit. They've done it since they were new. My guess is perhaps poor capacitors in the bulb. Because they do have some they do have circuitry in them, I do believe. So perhaps poor capacitors or Poor soldering. I mean, you never know. But so far, these have actually lasted. Um, and every Utilitech bulb I replaced with a Great Value bulb, those Great Value bulbs have lasted as well. And the light bulbs that are over the computer desk, the tech room desk, the two big ones are also Great Value, and they've seen it do this fine. So it sounds like Great Value bulbs are a bit more reliable than the Home Depot and Lowe's store brands. So yeah, um, it's, it's definitely better than the Great Value CFLs. Um, those, I've replaced many of them over the years because they were, they, they, they fell left and right. So, that uh, 13 year service life they mentioned on the box is say the last 13 years or last 7 years or whatever they want to say. Oh, that's just that the bulb actually doesn't prematurely fail before that. <laughs> yeah. I think more of these things fail prematurely due to poor construction, your poor design, uh, than actual LED failure. On the flip side, though, it is neat to see how far LED light bulb technology has come, especially once they started making LED filaments. Now those started to, to become pretty popular in vintage style light bulbs. Um, instead of having actual filaments, they had little bitty um, strings of LEDs that appeared like filaments when the lights were on. These were kind of the same way. They had the, they had the soft white coating of an incandescent bulb, but if you look carefully down inside here, You may be able to see the filament inside there, the LED filament. And you, as you can see, these are also dimble as well. So it's nice to see the technology improve. Um, <laughs> because um, a lot of these bulbs nowadays you can't really tell them apart from a um, standard incandescent bulb until you actually switch one on and notice that it doesn't get extremely hot. 
Now, LED bulbs, they do get pretty hot, but nothing like um, incandescents. Yeah, well, let's look at the lighting facts on this. Yeah, the, that life of 13.7 years is based on three hours a day. And I think this particular light here gets the second least amount of use out of all three ceiling fans. The one in the kitchen runs a lot more than this one. But this one runs a bit more than the ones in the bedroom. So estimated yearly energy costs based on three hours a day um, at 11 cents per kilowatt hour would be 66 cents which under this utility the um, electric rate during the winter is about 7.7 .7 cents and the summer rate is about 8.4 cents so the um, cost would actually be considerably lower but yeah I, you know as far as LED bulbs go, I like them and I hate them at the same time. When they work, they work great. But when they don't work, it's aggravating me because sometimes, or pretty much all times, they tend to be a lot more expensive than other lighting sources. But yeah. That's sort of my opinions on LED light bulbs. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Okay, I just installed the replacement lights. <laughs> Boy, is it bright. Um, not only do we have three working lights now, but these here are 60 watt equivalents. The ones that were up there were 40 watt equivalents. Yeah, I want a little bit of extra lighting for the um, tech room to supplement these lights because obviously um, With the lights that were in here, it was like kind of dark in the back over there, you know, in different places. So, yeah, we'll see how long these last. The fact that these are dimmable possibly gives me a little bit more hope about them. So, these particular lights, I think they have less electronics in them to fail because when I zoom in with the camera up close you can see there is interference with the camera and of course in the United States electricity is 60 Hertz and also cameras here run on NTSC or you know, the video is NTSC I think there is probably a bit of choppiness in the light coming off of these it's just not really visible to the human eye Yeah, to the human eye, they look just like old-fashioned light bulbs, really. <laughs> so yeah, we'll sell on these last. Well, guys, that's it for this one. But it doesn't have to be. There's plenty more videos on the channel to check out. Also, if you liked the video, please click the like button. And if you absolutely hated it, there is the alternative button as well. But yeah, please subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate it. And remember to click the bell so that we get notified of all updates. Also, if you're interested in things aside from computers and technology, check out my second channel. It's CubeComp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about weather, elevators, bicycling, and pretty much whatever else I figure out to upload. So yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you for your support.